to my channel this is my second video in december and it is getting colder and colder and colder by the day so that means we need some cold weather safe makeup okay so personally i think that it's better to wear makeup during this season because it's less sweat you don't have to worry about being hot and your makeup slipping and sliding across your face. The cold is gonna keep it there. It's gonna stay. And it's gonna look bomb because it's so cold. Unless your eyes water, because my eyes tend to water sometimes when it's too windy and too cold. And but other than that, makeup in the wintertime, amazing, right? So basically this video is for anyone, for beginners, for experienced makeup people, you know. This video is just a simple makeup look that you can do every day in the wintertime. Because I know me personally, I don't really like to wear makeup that much in the summertime because it's so hot and I just feel like the sweat is causing the makeup to seep deeper into my pores. When it's cold, I just feel like that's perfect. So me personally, I wear makeup a lot more in the winter time. So this is my everyday winter look and I'm sharing it with you guys. So we're gonna get right away. Before we get into it, quick tip, quick fact. Darker colors are for winter time. Brighter colors are for summer and spring or spring and summer. So for fall and winter, you wanna go to the darker colors like the browns and the nudes and the more natural colors. Spring and summer, bright colors. Yellows, pinks, light blues, greens. You get what I'm saying? So that was my quick tip. Now we're gonna get right into the video. So I am showing the eyebrows today. So we're gonna get started taking my Jordana Lavish Brown pencil and I'm outlining the bottom and the top of my eyebrows. Y'all should already know the drill because I did an entire video on this. So if you have not seen it yet, go to that video for a little bit more detail on how I achieve these brows because they're award winning, period. And of course, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer Fawn, the shade Fawn, honey. And I'm starting at the bottom and I'm just blending them into the brow and then lower into my actual eyelid, kind of preparing it for the eyeshadow, kind of like a pre-prime situation. So once that is done, I'm taking the same concealer and I'm using it to prime my eyelids and prepare my eyelids for whatever color I'm going to put on top. Make sure that it is setting, it is still, it's not going to be sliding across my eyelids and it blends together even better. So I'm using the Morphe palette, I believe it's pronounced Morphe if it's Morph, my apologies, but I'm using that. And I'm using this golden shade. I'm just gonna apply it to about the halfway mark of my eyelid. And then with the same palette, I'm going in with that brown shade and I'm just gonna fill in the rest of my lid, making sure I am blending. Y'all know how I am about that blending. So I make sure that I am blending this gold and this brown together. Okay? Okay. So I didn't really like the way it came out. So I'm going in with like a lighter, like almost like a white gold color. And that's what did it. Okay? Because when it's winter time, you want to look kind of icy, but you want to look kind of natural at the same time. And I felt like it was missing that iciness. So I added the little white gold color, making it even more icy than it already was. Okay, it's winter time, honey. Winter time tutorial. That's the point. So now onto my actually my least favorite part because I can never get my lines right and my eyes were watering like crazy in this video. As you can see, I have to keep stopping and like fanning my eyes because they were watering. But the eyeliner, my NYX black ink epic liner. Yeah, y'all, I yeah. I don't even have much to say about this because I was really stressed, but it worked out. And since my eyes were watering, you can only imagine how hard it was to apply my lashes. 
watering it was terrible i have no idea why my eyes are watering this bad this day but that's just what i had to deal with so you already know i kind of struggle with lashes anyway but i'm applying my baby lashes had to get myself together a few times but it came out nevertheless take your time take your time So now that the eyes are done, the eyelids, eyeliner, lashes, all of that is finished, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Prime, priming my face, and then I'm using my 335, actually wrong, I'm using my 356 Warm Coconut, but I should have been using my 335 Classic Tan because I actually get lighter in the winter time, and I didn't realize that until I was like midway through the video. So you can kind of tell that this is not my shade, but nevertheless, it did still kind of turn out between like the concealer and the contour. You'll see it later, but make sure you're still matching your faces when the seasons change because me personally, I change colors. I get a little lighter in the winter, dark in the summer, you know, the, the normal. And once the foundation is all across my face, going back in with my Fawn Concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes, bridge of my nose, chin or head and then underneath where I will be applying my contour just to make sure the contour kind of stands out just a little more and then I'm using my L'Oreal foundation stick in the shade 411 chestnut and I just actually purchased some more and the application is amazing amazing so yes, that's what I'm using to contour and I'm applying it underneath, well, around my cheekbone area, kind of underneath it, forehead, nose, boom. And I'm just going to be blending. So enjoy the process of me blending my entire face out. And now that we are done with my favorite part of the makeup process, I love blending my face out. Now I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and I am pressing it into my skin in the same areas that I apply my concealer, letting it set my face so I don't become oily and all of that stuff. Setting is very important. Make sure you set your face with any type of powder that is like the same, around the same shade as your concealer was. And while my setting powder is setting, I'm back with the watery eyes and I am applying eyeliner. I honestly didn't want to do this, but I feel like eyeliner is essential for these type of looks, especially when they're natural. It brings out your eye color. So I did apply eyeliner and now I am brushing all of the excess powder off of my face, all the powder that didn't quite set in and I'm just sitting there wiping it off. And once that step is completed, I'm going in with my Maybelline Cosmetics Fit Me Powder in the shade 360 Mocha just to bring out my contour a little bit more, bring out some more definition to my face. And then I'm adding blush with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Palette in the shade Dark using the dark red shade or the dark pink shade that's in the bottom right.
and to set my face i am using the mix cosmetics setting spray matte finish because i want a matte finish especially since it's going to be a little cold i want it to look really matte and calm and pretty once that has dried i'm going in with my milani cosmetic strobe light highlighting powder in the shade day glow applying it to my cheekbones nose a little bit on the top of my lip and on my forehead and now I'm using the same pencil that I used to do my eyebrows to line my lips and since in the winter time we want to focus on the darker colors and the browns and the nudes and things of that nature I am overlining my lips and I am coloring it in a little bit more than usual just so I have more brown than anything and of course, y'all know from my last, I want to say it was my last video, this is my favorite combination using the kind of sexy matte lipstick and making sure that it's blending together. And this is a bomb combination. So that is the end of this video. Obviously... I mean, it came out kind of like I wanted to come out, but not really. But you get the gist of it. You want to stay in the shimmers and the natural colors, all of that nature. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Stay, watch another video or two while you're here or three or four or all of them. You know, whatever you have time for. See you all next week for another video.